Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Sarah. I'm an artist, entrepreneur, and best-selling Amazon author. I help people find courage and push through uh, the grief process through art and self-development coaching. If you feel stuck, then I'd be happy to work with you. Today, I'm going to talk about simplifying, simplifying your life. If you feel overwhelmed or like you just spend so much time on a lot of things and just feel like you're not getting anywhere, then maybe it's time to simplify. You can look at a lot of different areas of your life, maybe diet, make life simple. You don't have to ha have a huge elaborate meal. Um, how can you simplify it? How can you make quick and easy meals? Use the crock pot or um, you know, maybe have cereal for dinner or, or different things like that. How can you simplify your diet? How can you make your diet matter? Like, you know, making sure that you're getting the most out of your food, eating foods that uh, give you nutrition. Um, some of the things that I've done in my journey is I've been on a keto, uh, keto diet. And I love the keto diet because it helps um, eliminate hunger pains and it actually gets my body in a position where I can um, my energy can last a really long time. I can go for a long, several hours without even being hungry, but that's, it's not because I'm starving myself. My body is actually getting the nutrients that it needs. Um, another way you can simplify your life is look at all the different subscriptions. Look at the bills that you have right now that you're paying in. Are you paying extra? Do you have Hulu? Do you have Netflix? Do you have Disney Plus? Do you have all these different programs and Maybe you don't need all them. Which ones do you watch? Which ones do you um, not spend your time on? Or maybe even um, simplifying by not watching TV and just going to a movie night and going down and spending time with the kids and going to the library and picking out some movies to watch that weekend. And then, and then that way you get a whole lot of your time back. You can simplify your time by prioritizing different things. Make sure that your children, your family, and church is a priority, and making sure that your time with God is a priority, and doing things that really matter. Uh, another thing you can simplify your life with is, you know, with your children. You might have kids at home, and you go to all these extracurricular activities. Um, they they're in a lot of different sporting events or different things like that, and you know, look at them and say, do I really need to be involved in this many different activities? Do my children really want them? You know, is it something that you want more than your children do? And, you know, try to simplify what really matters, you know, building those relationships. What's going to matter in five to 10 years is watching all those YouTube videos on different things that don't matter, um, adding value to your life, do things that are going to add value to your life, building your relationship with God, building your relationships with your, your family, your friends, um, traveling, um, pursuing your business, your goals, different things that are going to help you get ahead in life. Focus on what really matters and prioritizing your life. You know, a lot of times it can be really frustrating. You might feel like you're going nowhere and it's okay to, to relax and take time to relax and make sure that you're getting rejuvenated. But also, uh, ask yourself, are you spending too much time on things that don't matter? How much time do you spend on social media each week? How much time do you spend watching uh, YouTube videos? How much time do you spend watching TV? And how can you simplify your life and turn the TV off and play a game with your kids or go on a walk outside or read a book or travel or go in uh, to a museum and learn something new? Um, you know, pour back into you, pour back into your life and, and what really matters. Anyway, hope this message resonates with you today. I would love to hear some different ideas if you have about simplifying your life and how you can do that or how you would be able to encourage my audience. Please comment below.